Hey, what's up, people? I want to actually do a little war patch for you. Not a whole review, but like facts and opinions and shit about war patch. Man, this motherfucker is fucking buffed in the motherfucker, man. This bitch is fucking cool. The way the paint job is, it's fucking awesome, man. This is like the only reason I got the two pack of the Deadpool, man. I haven't even bust, busted out with the Deadpool yet, man. Fuck that. I don't even want to open a Deadpool, man. I mean, this guy is the only one I really want it. By the way, I have a Winter Soldier. Well, I don't have him right now, but I'm about to go get him at Toys R Us. I have a Winter Soldier for trade or sell. I don't want Winter Soldier because he don't even exist no more, you know. I know it's Bucky, but Bucky right now is uh, uh, Captain America, you know. And I'm, and I, anyways, I'm customizing a Captain America Bucky style, you know. So I want to get rid of my Warpad or sell it or whatever, or, or I'm going to have to put it on eBay. So before any of that shit, y'all, y'all, whatever, you know. Um, and, then, and anyways, uh... Winter Soldier ain't gonna come back within the, what? They're not. I don't think Marvel's gonna come bring him back anyway. So there's no reason to have a, a, an extra Bucky next to a, I mean, an, a Winter Soldier next to a Captain America Bucky. You know? So I'm like, nah, cause I'm, I'm gonna put the whole Marvel Legends display there. But anyways, back to Warpath. Okay. Wow. Look at the veins on this fool's bicep. This is the fucking big, tall action figure. He has everything: forearms, traps. Back muscle, long hair, muscular face. Damn, man. I can't believe this shit. This shit is awesome, man. This fool stands seven inches tall. That is fucking tall than a bitch, man. Wow. His daggers are awesome. Yeah, a lot of people are asking me again to make a, a Thunderbird out of a Warpath. I can't make a Thunderbird out of a Warpath. It'll look weird and funny. Because the warp pad is 7 foot tall, 360 pounds. And Thunderbird is fucking 6 foot 1. That's gonna look weird, you know. Thunderbird has never been tall. So I can't make no warp pad base out of a Thunderbird. Because that's, that's gonna look funny as hell, you know. Two different people and height. Different heights matter a lot. You know, it's gonna look weird having a, a, a fucking Thunderbird that's fucking tall and shit. Now compared to the big Colossus Marvel Legends made, okay, Colossus is seven foot five, like about 500 pounds, some shit like that, or more pounds, and Warpath is seven foot two, which is the perfect size because man, I mean, I think Colossus is like a bit, or maybe even Warpath. It doesn't matter because it's just, it's just a three inch different height, you know, so it really don't matter. But wow, man, I mean, let's let's have a little pose down. Um, overall, Colossus is is. Bigger than Warpath because of his bicep is bigger than his bicep. Tricep is bigger, but Warpath's got him on the forearms. This fool ain't got no fucking shoulder muscle. Warpath's got deltoids and shoulders and front and back. But Colossus has a bigger chest, which that's how it's supposed to be, you know? Because Colossus is bigger than him. Uh, legs, they don't really matter because nobody's going to look at nobody's, you know what I'm saying? They can wear shorts or anything like that, but on the back... Colossus seems to have bigger traps and bigger, wider back than Warpath, which is the, which is true because you know that's how it is in re, in the real Marvel Legends comics, you know Marvel comics, you know that's how it is. So overall, um, whoever, uh, Colossus still looks heavier and buffer than than Warpath, which is a fact. And Marvel, that's how it's supposed to be. So this is the perfect, perfect Warpath that has ever been made, ever created. Period. You know what? As Hasbro is getting everything right. I mean, Hasbro has been doing good. I have no complaints on Warpaths. I give Warpath a 10 out of 10. That's coming from me that I customize and know a lot about muscle definition and height and difference. That's in Marvel Comics. So I do read Marvel Comics now, and I'm learning a lot. Wendigo is 9 feet tall, which is exactly how... I think when, when Hasbro makes action figures, they put an a, a action figure next to... A past action figure next to the previous action figure they're going to make because... Look at that shit. Look at the height difference on that shit. That is 9 feet tall. That is 7 feet tall. Well, not 9. But you know what I'm saying? So, that's how it, it, it'll look in real life. That's what I'm saying, man. Hasbro is getting this shit right and done. Unlike DC Universe Classics, that's pissing me off, man. The new wave I got at fucking Kmart pissed me the fuck off, man. Those motherfuckers look the same as the other motherfuckers in the other fucking waves. That's why I don't even know. I'm so fucking pissed at that bullshit, man. They only have two different, man, I was so fucking pissed, man. Everything's the fucking same damn shit. Fuck that, man. But yeah, the new Legends, Marvel Legends, man, that shit is, I, I got the Hulk, but I'm not gonna open them until Christmas, you know, but damn, look at that shit. Look at that difference, man. That is fucking awesome, man. And how come Marvel says that Ben, the thing, is six foot two? 
I, I, I could have sworn I saw that motherfucker taller than Wonder Man, taller than Hercule, taller, like the second tallest motherfucker next to Hulk, you know? Why did they say he's 6'2"? I don't know. Well, I don't know if this is right, but if it's uh, based on Marvel Comics publishing editors, Ben is 6'2 and Warpath is 7'2, so that's what it will look like. Wow, good job, good job. But I've never seen Ben this tall, I mean, short, you know, 6'2. I'm not saying 6'2 is short, but I'm saying, like, next to real superheroes, that's kind of short, but I don't know. Yeah, he is 7'5, 500 pounds, so yeah, that does look right. I guess Hasbro also looked into some Marvel Legends when they made this motherfucker, maybe. Because they wanted to get everything right, you know, but maybe they are looking at people's videos, you know, but fuck, man, good job on all the fucking new six packs, man. Marvel is beating DC's fucking ass, and I'm a DC person, but look at this shit, the new wave that just came out, I was so fucking pissed, man. This is what it looks like on the Hasbro line, not the Legends, not include Legends or Selects, but okay, you can tell that Hasbro has been doing good, good job on the height and shit. Yep, they got it, man. Look, six foot two, six foot uh five, six five, possibly seven feet tall. Scar, he's still he's still growing because he's kind of young. He's still growing. Trust me, he's still growing. Uh, seven foot two. Uh, probably they they say this motherfucker can go up to twenty feet, maybe sometimes, whatever, and that's perfect right there. Okay, this does not include Thor because I I have a Thor, but it's a select Thor. Uh, he's on his way here. I haven't bought him yet, but uh, I think him and Beta Bill are the same height. Uh, this does not include the girls like She-Hulk. This includes only the guy, good guy, powerhouses. Powerhouses are like the big tough dudes, you know. And so this is what it, this is why I love Hasbro because they got everything right. Watch. Okay. Union Jack and the niggas below 6'1", that's what it's supposed to look like. Wonder Man 6'2", you can see the difference, like an inch difference. Ben 6'2", really not a big difference, but they need to make Ben a little bit bigger. They're going to keep putting that motherfucker over like a big tank and shit. If not, they need to shrink him down in the comics. Hercule, 6'5", I think. Yeah, 6'5", yeah. Look at that, three inch difference. Whoa, well, you know what I'm saying? Hulking, he's a, like various sizes. He's a shapeshifter, but he's really tall. I estimate he's a six six foot six. Look at that. You can tell the difference in height. Scar, he's still growing. Don't can't, he really don't count. Warpath, seven foot two. Colossus, seven foot five. Mister Fantastic could reach up to twenty feet. They say. See that shit? That is fucking perfect. Hold up. And then Hulk would be like round around here, be, around right here because I got, I mean, I can't open him so. I could use the Red Hulk but I don't want to use him right now but yeah, they got it perfect man, Hasbro. Good job. So other than that, man, go get this motherfucker man. If, if I had to choose, out of, if I didn't have enough money and I had to pick one pack, I would probably go with Warpath and Deadpool pack because they're going to, I'm, I'm probably pretty positive they're going to come out with a, another Hulk in the future. They're going to. Black Widow's always out there, always making a Black Widow, and Winter Soldier will, you know, if you like modern shit, then, or if you're a classic guy, you know, I guess get Winter Soldier, but, you know, other than that, you need to really get Winter Soldier. That's my personal opinion, don't be coming, oh, what's well, the best shit? No, I don't know, I don't care. But if I had to get Pack, I would get the Warpath and Deadpool. And if I didn't have enough money, I would get this, these two, because that's the modern Deadpool uh, classics, and he still has this color shit. And you can all and and you know uh, Warpath goes either way with the X Men, uh, X Force. He keeps changing brands anyway, so I think this is the best brand brand and shit. You know, well if I had to, if I had no choice, you know, if I had to, if I had to be me. Now you guys stay tuned because I got some cool Christmas shit. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to make your own custom Christmas decorations, which are gonna be fucking awesome, fucking cool. And if you don't have enough money, you can sell them. I'm, I'm helping you guys out. And if you don't have enough money, this will guarantee you that your the girl that you're, you're trying to get with or your wife, she will be satisfied and love this because this came from you. Now, I'm going to teach y'all how to do this. Watch. Y'all stay tuned and watch the next video.